Hey guys, and welcome back to War Thunder. It is Krebsy here in the Black Prince. An absolutely amazing tank, and I'm so excited to take this tank out because in the yesterday's video we did the Sherman Firefly, and that was such a challenge playing with. And then I was actually so excited, I mentioned in the comments, like, oh guys, I cannot wait to show you the Black Prince. It's just so good. In fact, it's borderline overpowered. In fact, it might even be overpowered. Uh, but it really depends what kind of matches it gets into. I hear a lot of different things about it in RB, as in it's actually kind of underwhelming in RB, but I think that's mostly because of the matchmaking that happens in RB, where I'm not sure if it's less people are playing, but there's a compression in the, uh, in the matchmaking. And so you see a lot of times higher tier vehicles like Tiger 2s and whatnot, whereas if, I, if you look in Arcade here, check this out! I mean, I've got almost nothing to be afraid of, maybe the Panther D at the very worst, but Pretty much nothing can penetrate me from the front, which is absolutely amazing. And uh, it's always like this. I've played this tank maybe 15 times, and there has not been a single round where I have been up-tiered. This tank comes out at a battle rating of 6.0, so technically you can see Tiger 2s. It just never happened to me. I don't, I don't know how, how that works, but it's just never happened to me. And uh, from the other videos that I have watched of this tank, other YouTubers, they say pretty much the same thing. In Arcade, they just don't get up-tiered with it, so that's uh, an absolutely awesome thing because you have about 150 millimeters of armor on the front, sometimes about 160, depending where you shoot. Uh, so, as you can imagine, pretty much nothing at 6.0 or less can penetrate that from the front, and this tank is just able to do so much then. It has that 17-pounder gun akin to the Achilles and the Sherman Firefly, but it also has these Sabo rounds that do about 230-ish millimeters of armor penetration around that range, if I remember correctly. And those wreck, considered how fast this uh, gun fires and how much penetration that is, uh, yeah... Enemies just fall before you. I've had instances where I've taken on uh, enemies 1 versus 3, 1 versus 4, and I came out the victor. No damage whatsoever, and enemies just laying dead in front of me, and it was amazing. Uh, it's, it's a really fun tank to play. It is slow, it's like a lumbering giant, but it has this ominous presence about it. So in order to play it the best, uh, you have to make sure that you don't get flanked because any sh uh, shots into the side is where you're going to be weakest. But also try to protect your belly as well because the belly has about 150 millimeters, which s is still a lot, but it's actually the weakest portion of the front armor, uh, apart from the machine gun on the turret, which is a little bit of a weak spot as well, but it's a very small little weak spot. Let's try to shoot this guy over here. Some damage. My teammate's in the way, actually. Let's kill the guy at the front. Never mind. Come on, man. Just move, please. Thank you. And let's just go for this guy. I wanted to try to get his driver out. But notice how he's not going to do anything. A lot of times people get really afraid and they just drive. They don't know what to do. The best tanks that have a chance of taking on this vehicle are ones like derp vehicles. Like the ISU over there or... Where'd he go? Whoa! <laughs> it's a tiger! All of a sudden, it's a tiger! Yeah, it's like the derp vehicles that have a best chance against you because they have a lot of penetration and also the high explosives. Come on! I can't... Ugh! Oh, my mouse sensitivity is working against me right now. I wanted to aim down on him, but it's like if I move my mouse a bit too much, then it's gonna go way over him. I need to lower that sensitivity. But anyway... Uh, let's push on up. So this tank works best on any place that has choke points that tries to prevent the enemy from getting side shots into you. Damn it, that guy actually got a side shot into me, but it's fine. We've got five crew members to work with, so that's a lot. Uh, so we still have good re reload speeds. Let's take a shot. Oh, interesting. Interesting. We'll take one more shot. Sometimes people just disappear and then they reappear. KV2 over there. Ooh, gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. These high explosive rounds on KV-2s can sometimes be quite deadly. Let's shoot. Nice. And that's his gunner down and he's on fire. He's literally a sitting duck. That's nice. Okay, not quite. But he's gonna be getting his guy back in there any second now. And yeah, that's him back. You can see him twitching a little bit. It's almost like Rigor Mortis. <laughs> Kicking in. They're twitching. 
as they're trying to struggle to stay alive. So we've already got three kills. Really? I wasn't even counting. I honestly wasn't. Let's take a shot. And that's his gunner down. And let's see if we can finish him off. Oh, the angles. That T-34 is literally going to do nothing to me. He can't do anything to me. Let's take a shot. That's, yeah, his gunner down. Take a shot again really soon. So you'll notice how fast the reload speeds are. Boom, gone. They cannot do anything to you in this tank. So honestly, one of the best counters to actually taking it out is... Uh, you get flanked, that's a possibility, but since you're playing arcade, attackers or bombers, worst nightmare of this vehicle, it cannot escape. And so if you get an attacker or bomber, I would highly, 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 highly recommend uh, focus down Black Princes on the enemy team because they are literally the bane of your life if you are on uh, the receiving end of a Black Prince, okay? So try and take them out. ASAP if you see any now we're not gonna take up out a bomber you guys have actually been kind of a little bit complaining about this recently that I take out bombers too much uh, but there's a reason behind it okay firstly it's easy points but secondly it keeps the momentum going and that's kind of what you need at times momentum uh, to push on the enemies hold on we got an ISU just over here oh that didn't do it this guy could be really deadly He's trying to aim me down. Oh no! How did that not work? Yeah, it needs to be on the flat part. No. Nope. So that <laughs> there you go. The potential of this tank receiving end of an ISU shot. All it did took out my cannon barrel on my track. Amazing. Just what kind of survivability this vehicle has. Okay, I want him to come out again. There we go. That's why I wanted. I need the flat part. The flat part. Yeah, so the idea of me taking out bombers and stuff like that is... It's just momentum. It's like you weaken the enemy front line, and then that allows you to push in to make even more kills in your tank. Uh, so that's... That's why I do it. But, you know, for the sake of just showing how awesome this vehicle actually is... We'll stay off of that. I'm taking a shot there anyway because he's highlighted, and so sometimes... Uh, if there's like something obscuring the person, you can still shoot them because it'll destroy the obstacle or whatever's in the way. Alright, let's go for that SU. He's on fire. Now if we aim on the left, we can probably finish him off. Ah, oh, mouse sensitivity. There we go, he's gone. And so the enemy spawn is just right up in front of us. We are pushing on them massively. And we're going to keep up the pressure. This is actually a really good example. If I could keep on moving, if the game lasted longer and I was taking on the enemies as they spawn, then it would show you really just the potential of this tank. You can easily, easily one verse three, one verse four people and they just can't do anything to you as long as they stay in front of you. The moment they try to uh, go onto your side, then that just causes problems, doesn't it? Ah, uh, we're slow. Now what's a little bit awkward here, as I approach the top of this hill, I might be exposing my belly. But notice the gun depression. Gun depression is really nice on this vehicle. Okay, but we're gonna risk it. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's so good. He can't do anything. <laughs> ah, it feels amazing. You guys don't you guys need to buy this vehicle to understand what I'm talking about. It it is just amazing. And I would definitely say the best British vehicle to purchase uh, if you're if you're wanting to have fun times, but only an arcade. I, I just don't I don't hear anything positive about an RB. Uh, go for arcade where you get a lot of good matchmaking. I think there's a lot more people playing arcade, so there's no compression of sorts. Gives you favorable matchmaking. All right, let's push in. There should be some dude just around here. T-34, in fact, and somebody else got him. So we're just gonna push on up. Come on, I wanna catch this M4A1, but he's kind of a speedy tank. He's probably just trying to ignore me purposely because, well, Black Prince is, well, that's definitely a tank that's scary to take on. Come on, take me on. Stop, stop, all right. Now we're going to try to aim for his driver. <laughs> Amazing. That amount of penetration at this tier is just ridiculous. 
Just all that penetration that you have on this vehicle. This battle rating 6.0 on these Sabo rounds is amazing. The Achilles and the uh, Sherman Firefly don't get these Sabo rounds. Um, but this tank does, and it just makes it such a contender, indeed. So that guy's gone. Now we got this one last guy over here. Somebody else got him. We've literally pushed right on into their base. Pushed right on into their base. There's an IS-2 over here. I'm gonna take a shot. This is loader down. Somebody else got him. I wanted it a little bit lower instead of into his turret. A little bit lower into the hull. And that maybe might have gotten more uh, kills. Destruction on him. But there you guys go. Nine kills. Nine full kills, no bombers, Black Prince, grab me cap zone, still speed enough to do that, four kill assists as well. Very easy tank to do well with, it's just almost impossible to do bad in it. And uh, I would highly recommend getting this tank if you're trying to uh, buy a different one. So are we going to go to the scoring screen or what the hell is going on? Hello guys. <laughs> is it gonna switch on over or are we just stuck here forever there we go we got there in the end these are the results of that match all these are rewards and surprisingly not a lot of uh, lions we got a lot of research but not really a lot of lions um, but maybe if you do even better than that then you'll get rewarded with even more I'm I've had uh, matches before in this tank that I got over a hundred thousand lions uh, so as you can imagine that's a lot for one game there you guys go that is the black prince and now i leave it to you guys what do you want to see in the next video i would suggest maybe one of the rocket vehicles hmm? Hmm? anyway feel free to leave your suggestion in the comment box below but until the next one subscribe and i'll catch you guys later Here we go.